Computers can crash. And there is a computer in Capsule 2.0. And sometimes it crashes. If your capsule is completely unresponsive and you've plugged it into a charger that you know is good, so you've confirmed that that micro USB cable causes some other device, maybe a phone, maybe another capsule, to light up and show that it's working, and that doesn't work, you might need to reset your capsule. There are two ways to do this. You need to remove the capsule and open it up. You can actually, so I took off the C-ring. If it's in a pod shell, it's going to have the C-ring on there. You pop that off. And then you can actually spread it open pretty far without taking the leash and the O-ring off. And inside, there is, I don't know if you can see that, but right behind the button there, there are two little metal pads, and it says reset right underneath them. And if you take a metal object, I've got my handy utility key off my keychain here, and just bridge across those two pads so you're shorting them out, making an electrical connection across them, then that is a soft reset, and that tells the microcontroller to reset itself. And then hopefully your light will turn on when you press the button. If that doesn't work, you might need to remove the PCB from the other side of the shell. And again, you can do this without taking the leash off. Now, the way that the PCB fits inside the capsule shell is basically it's a press fit between the four corners. And that can be pretty snug. To get it out, you want to grab the button PCB and wiggle it and kind of pull back on the edges of the plastic at the same time. You're almost peeling the plastic away. And if you have pliers and you want to grab that PCB with pliers, that can help if you're having a really hard time. Usually you can just do it with your finger with just some wiggling. Get it out. Once it pops out, you can pull the whole thing out along with the battery. And then on the back side, over by where the battery wires connect, right underneath that, is this big capacitor and that large component has metal on both ends and that's connected directly to the battery. This is the easiest place you're going to actually take a piece of metal like a key and kind of roll it across there. You're momentarily shorting out the battery which is kind of like turning the power on and off with a hard power switch. So having done that and you should only need to do it once you might see a spark. It might be a significant spark. Let me see if we can... I can't really quite see that. Um, but that's fine as long as you do it for a short time. Don't hold it there. You don't want to short out the battery for long or things will get hot. So then, hopefully, you press the button and it lights up. If that didn't work, you can try plugging it into a charger again. If the battery is very low and you need it to reset, then you'll need to actually charge it as well as having reset it. So try plugging it into a charger again. If that doesn't work, something must be wrong. Probably something to do with the battery having broken, um, maybe something faulty, maybe there's some water damage or something in the capsule light. But uh, contact us for more troubleshooting tips, and then potentially we'll have to replace your light.